Home in my memory is a green, worn out couch, and my grandmother in every poem. Every jasmine picked off the backlash, every backlash picked off the tear gas, and tear gas healed with yogurt and onions, with resilience, with women chanting and drumming on pots and pans, with goddams and hasbi Allah. They work tanks, but we know stones. 2008, the Gaza bombings. My ritual of watching TV ran between the grieving and Egyptian bitty dance music, and I fluctuated between hatred and adoration, stacking and hoarding Darwisha's reasons to live, sometimes believing them, sometimes dipping my bread in indulgence, knowing a child is breadless in Khan Yunus, dipped in a roof's rubble. If you ask me where I'm from, it's not a one-word answer. Be prepared and seated, breathless and geared. And if hearing about a world other than yours makes you uncomfortable, well, drink the sea. Cut off your ears. Blow another bubble to bubble your bubble and the pretense. Blow another town of bodies in the name of fear. This is why we dance. My father told me anger is a luxury that we cannot afford. Be composed, calm, still. Laugh when they ask you, smile when they talk, answer them, educate them. This is why we dance, because if I speak, I'm dangerous. You open your mouth, you raise your eyebrows, you point your fingers. This is why we dance, wounded feet, but the rhythm remains. This is why we dance, because no matter how many adjectives you stack upon my shoulders, I define me. Now this is why we dance, because even my poetry is not free. Now can you please just tell me, why is anger, even anger, a luxury to me?